That was right after I first did a television program. They had WBKB in Chicago. Had an ex it was an experimental station. And they weren't commercial, and they didn't broadcast continuously, but they broadcast every day with different programs. This and was in... Uh, in 1945. In the fall of 45, I went over there. I don't remember who asked me to do it, but there was a program that was underwritten by the Treasury Department for some reason, and it was a 15-minute newscast. There were no film chains or any kind of thing like that. So what it was was a televised 15-minute radio newscast of me reading news, you know. And I remember th things about it because in those days, the old, um, the old iconoscope, before they developed the image orthicon, was so, its retina was so insensitive that it took enormous amounts of light to get a picture. And I mean enormous amounts, even to get that black and white picture. So in this little booth where I was, uh, there were banks of lights behind the camera, like a night baseball game. I don't know what the wattage would have been, but it was so intense that I couldn't really open my eyes against it. It was like looking into the sun. So I was reading, it's kind of squinting like this, and I remember it was a summer day, but they had the thing air conditioned down pretty well. And I came in with my newscast. When they threw those lights on, <laughs> I think all the rest of the lights in Chicago must have dimmed a little. And I had a seersucker jacket on, and by the time I finished that 15-minute newscast, I had sweat through the jacket because it, it got that hot in the room. And it's probably a good thing I did because it kept it from catching fire. I mean, there was, this was that, that, that was my situation. Was, and I finished this newscast, squinting against it and everything, and the lights went out and everything. And I said to the producer, uh, I've never seen a television program, which I never had. And the producer said, we're doing another one in 45 minutes. And if you, there's a set in the lobby, and if you want to go there, you can watch it. So I went out and bought a sandwich in a little place, came back in the lobby and sat there with my sandwich. And I watched my first television program after I had broadcast my first television program, which was a little strange, really.